But oh man, those tornadoes up in Kentucky. My record and, was on the ground for 250 miles, four states. Man, that. So that's like from here to Dallas. They yeah, exactly on the ground that long, and it was multiple tornadoes, as I understand. Um, now I don't know if there's been a head count given on how many people um, lost their lives, but um, that was tragic to even see because it just it was parts of Illinois, Kentucky, Missouri, Arkansas. They all had um, some tragic endings in those areas and some of those places steve i don't know if you saw some of the pictures man it just looks like as you would say I've, piles of rubbish i've just got i've just got one word for it it's quite simple definitely i mean whoever the greater god is makes you realize how grateful you should be here to absolutely absolutely yeah. and it, it's a, along with that um that tragedy, there was a, a, a new warehouse for Amazon that collapsed and killed several people um, in that thing. Um, I don't know, man. I, I just, we, we don't get a lot of tornado. We get hurricanes, but, you know, you always kind of have a good warning before the hurricane actually comes. So it's not like a, something that just kind of pops up on you. But those tornadoes, man, they can kind of spin down out of anywhere. And you, you actually, hear that siren. I've actually been in... A I've tornado? I've been in one tornado. Yeah. Was, Where were you? Over in Sugarland. We was teaching over in um, Sugarland Ice Rink. There was a tornado in the in the area in the early two thousand. And I mean, we all actually went into the um, cafeteria, restaurant, whatever. Mm. We all was under the tables. But, I mean, it was frightening. The it, whole thing, the whole building, is absolutely. Yeah, I've heard it sound. It almost sounds like a train coming yeah, right for was, you. It was, it was frightening. It was really I, frightening. I can imagine, and especially for the kids. I mean, some of them kids are three and five years old, and that's why you know I pulled up this article that we found about this found a young baby of what two years old in the pile of stuff. In the pile of stuff. Really? Yeah. Where was was where was that at? Was that in Kentucky? It's, it's or? actually the. I'm jumping the gun again, as always, but it's the <laughs> but it's the third one down on the list that we have. Two month old baby dies of Kentucky tornado injuries after being oh, flung from bathroom die. by wind. I mean, and these people in Kentucky have you know, obviously before Christmas. Um, I mean, very, 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 very sad. Man, two months old. You you wonder where was that baby? I don't know. They they would have had to find both of us because I'm not sure I would have let go of my two month old baby. Um, I don't know. That's 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 crazy. I don't know. If something fell on on the baby. Was there any detail to sh to say? It's all it says. The baby died after injuries after being flung from the bathroom. Okay. No, quite honestly. I'd like to know if it was a one-story or two-story house. Shoot, at that point, it really is one or two. I mean, but, I mean, you just got to look at some of these photos, and you know, for local businesses as well. Then I was reading another article <clears throat> about somebody in, that was in Kentucky that was basically saying that, you know, they've lost everything. They've had everything in their business gone. Still got the debts. They still got everything. I just hope does insurance cover. Well, I, if you have insurance, I think that it would it would cover in some windstorm damage. If you have insurance, but I would imagine, man, two hundred and fifty miles of Amazing. space that it covered. Yeah. Um, and then, by all accounts, you know, like scientists they reckon it's going to get worse. Wow! The whole you know global, you know, the the climate change. Thing, yeah. I mean, they think it's going to get worse. Um. I mean, just the thought of when they said it'd be 50 miles, I'm like, what's that? Just in Dallas. Yeah, definitely. And he covered four states. Affected an unbelievable amount. You know, and very, very sad. It definitely is sad. Um, but I know that, I mean, that is tornado country up there um, for that area. But, um, 
man, I mean, the winds are so much more strong um, when it comes to those tornadoes. Completely different scale there. So, yeah, it's um, so speaking of while we're still kind of talking about that, there was um, a, a worker in that Amazon warehouse that um, supposedly they made the workers stay and shelter in place for the hurricane, which makes sense. You would think if you got somebody you say, hey, guys, let's just stay here. Don't go anywhere. Let's make sure blah, blah, that, blah. That's the normal standard procedure. Right. Just stay here. Well, apparently he died now um, because, of course, the, the building collapsed. Now, where, where we know that in this country, people sue each other for whatever. You can get sued for anything. But where would the liability um, come in that case? Or where, where do you think it would fall? You have a situation to where... Um, he was told to stay, he stayed, and then he died and he perished in the building collapse. I mean, what, what, what do you, what do you do? I mean, it, of course we know Jeff Bezos wasn't there, but it is his, his building. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't think, I don't think the company should be liable. No liability. I think it's a case of, you know, it's an act of God. Um, I mean, it's not Amazon's fault that there was a tornado. A tornado. No, and I think so. They base Amazon said shelter in place, stay building. Correct. Yeah. He decided to leave, or he no, no, no. They he stayed. That was the thing. It was time for him to go, and he was going to be leaving or supposedly leaving, but they recommended that he stay in the building. But it's a recommendation. End of the day. Well, it is right. I, I, I don't think there should be any liability the company. I really don't, regardless whether it's Amazon or. Uh, no, I do think it's. It, I mean, there's a lot of people that died in there that sheltering in their own homes and mm -hmm. they died. I don't think it's any fault of Amazon. I just think it's a, a way to take a bite and get some bucks. Welcome to America. Right. You know, so, so the lady, uh, it's his, it was his girlfriend, not his wife, but um, they asked her if she thought it was Amazon's fault, and she agreed with you. She said, "No, nah, not really, but it's kind of one of those what if, what if situations. What if they had let him leave, and you know what would have happened? Could he have made it home? So, who who knows, man? You never know where you can't outrun a tornado, no matter what the Hollywood tells you. Um, I don't see that being possible, but." Because you never know, know which way it's going to go. So who, who was asking whether it was Amazon's fault? The well, media? She, yeah, the media. She was getting... Okay, the, they got, they the stir media, it up. The media is so screwed up. <laughs> they, they stir it up, man. They, they really are. As much as I'm not over keen on Amazon and, you know, the, the billionaire league, I think they need to pay more taxes, but at the same time, I don't hold it against the likes of Bill Bezos. Jeff, Jeff I mean, Bezos, Bill Bezos, whatever his name is, <laughs> because you know, at the end of the day, I mean, he's been very successful in what he's done, and I right. respect him for that. Plus, I think he's an incredible opportunity, which is part of being a good business. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, and I've got the, the respect for him on that, but at the same time, because he's got the billions of dollars, looking for an opportunity. Opportunity, to exactly, and that's what, sometimes that's what it comes down to. You know, it is an opportunity um, getting sued. So uh, 